everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo, I've got another fan casting video for you today, and today we are going to be doing the MCU's Storm from the X-Men. We're talking about one of the most powerful mutants on the X-Men team. She is a leader, she is a strong woman, she's one of the coolest X-Men, probably one of the few that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thor. Not necessarily on strength, but on energy projections. This chick is a savage. And I expect we'll be seeing her probably in a Black Panther installment, I would assume would be a really good way to introduce her into the MCU. So without further ado, let's get talking about this video. So today what I'm going to be looking for with Storm is someone who has the similar facial structure, who is a talented actress. Everyone that I picked, I personally believe is a talented actress. I'm going to show you guys my top picks for Storm in the MCU. So let's get into this. So here we see Halle Berry has played Storm in X-Men Days of Future Past, Alexandra Shipp in X-Men, Danielle Nicolette in X-Men, Aya Hisakawa in X-Men, and Iona Morris, Iona Morris in X-Men as well. There is five more to look at, but we won't get into that too much. A lot of vocal roles for Storm over the years. We're gonna start taking a look at my choices, so let's get moving. All right, first up we have Yaya DaCosta, who is 36 years old and five foot eight. She's from Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, The Kids Are Alright, Take the Lead, Tron Legacy. She's a very talented and well-known actress, and I think she's the right height. I think she's the perfect age for Storm, because she has a very mature look, yet she is very youthful and unaged. And so I think she'd be great. Plus, her hair kicks butt, so check this out. First up, this is a great photo of her in that rock look, that punk rock look that we saw in, in X-Men Age of Apocalypse. I want a little bit older of a Storm. I don't necessarily want this younger punk rock Storm. I would like a Storm with a much more grand or elegant hair, long flowing white hair. This hair right here, it's pretty cool though. I like that hair. This right here I think is more or less what we're going for as far as Storm. And what I would like to see in the MCU is more of this traditional long flowing. This classic look of Storm looks a lot like Angela Bassett's Ramonda, the mother of T'Challa and Shuri in Black Panther. Let me see if I can pull up an image here for you guys. So do you guys see this? I'm just gonna hang it right here. This image of Storm is really, um, <laughs> Storm. See, I just got tongue tied again. This is not Storm but it looks a lot like Storm. And I think that it would be a really cool arc in the MCU if in Black Panther 2 or Black Panther 3, they introduce mutants into the universe in phase four, in phase four or phase five and allow Black Panther and Storm to either have or tease that romantic relationship that was in the comics where they had to marry one another to unite the nations of Africa. I think that would be really cool, especially because they could do a lot in the way of having Storm be like the girl that reminds the guy of his mom. You know that old saying, guys fall for chicks that remind them of their mom? This would be an exact <laughs> like parallel. She could show up to the cat she could show up to the castle in Wakanda and look more like the daughter of the queen than this than the prince does. And that or rather the king. Now the king says is the queen mother. Angela Bassett rocked it as Ramonda, but I think that Yaya da Costa would crush it in the role of Storm. Just like we see here, and just like we see here, she looks really nice with white hair. So that would be really, really cool. I like that. So next, let me know what you guys think down below about Yaya DaCosta playing Storm in the MCU. Would you want her to have this kind of curly, long, faux hawk thing going on, or would you prefer her to have full, long hair? I think either way, she would crush it. So next, let's take a look. Next up, we've got Gugu Mbathura, which is a savage name. 36 years old, five foot four, pretty small woman. However, um, small woman can still have big powers. And so I think that her work in uh, Beyond the Lights, Bell, Wrinkle in Time, uh, Fast Color and the Cloverfield Paradox proved that she is a very talented actress. Although even though a lot of people didn't like A Wrinkle in Time, but it's okay. Next, we see the images of Gugu here. And she does actually, her face actually does look a good deal like Storm from the comics, at least many of the iterations of Storm in the comics. She has a fun, warm, welcome kind of smile. Not sure that it portrays strength necessarily, but I think she's a talented enough actress that she could perform the role. I do think that I would take Yaya over 
Gugu, but still I think Gugu is a great choice. What do you guys think about Gugu Mbatha Ra to play Storm in the MCU? Let me know down in the comments below. Now let's move on to the next actress for Storm. Naomi Harris, 42 years old, five foot eight. Good stature. Uh, 42 years old is a little bit older than some of these other choices. However, her work in Moonlight, Skyfall, Rampage, Spectre, 28 Days Later, TV shows like Small Island, Simon and the Witch, White Teeth, Accused, Aramis, Microman. Some of these shows I haven't seen. I actually did like her a lot in Rampage. I thought she had some funny quips. I thought she was fun. Um, she worked well with Dwayne Johnson. Let's take a look at some of these images. She's got a very strong like cheekbone, forehead. I think that looks very similar to Storm. Although I do think Storm's jaw comes down a little bit more in most iterations of the comics. And I, I do tend to go for comic book accuracy. It's not the end of the world. If she plays the role really well, it's not gonna be the it's not gonna be the end all for, for Storm. I mean, obviously, Hugh Jackman was almost nothing like Wolverine, but he's still everybody's favorite, and people are still trying to get over the idea that someone will eventually replace him. So this could be her. She could be the next Hugh Jackman for Storm. I don't see a ton of side-by-side -side comparisons that really do justice, except for this one. This one does look like, I, I, I could totally see her in this one here. But nevertheless, I want you guys to let me know, do you like Naomi Harris? For this role tell me in the comments you guys know the drill next up we have kylie bunbury uh she's 30 years old and five foot eight same stature as before and 30 years old making her one of the youngest choices she is in pitch game night under the dome twisted tut and let's take a look at some images here again it's the same comic image here but this is a really nice image and i think her hair is really really nice for this again if you have big hair you've got more to work with i think you don't have to rely so much on like wigs or added hair or whatever and i think that's always a huge plus when you can have a more natural look um take away the suspension of disbelief in any case where there might be you know some minute flaw that our subconscious picks up or something like that I think that her hair is great. Obviously, like actress, model, she plays around with her hair a lot. But this, I think, is is really good because you have more to work with. I don't know if she'd be willing to dye her actual hair for the part. Um, that's something that I don't know that she would be willing to do. They'd probably still go with the wig regardless. But if she would, that'd be crazy. That'd be really cool, and I like that. So, all right, let's keep moving. Uh, tell me what you guys think about Kylie Bunbury down below. We have 34 years old five foot one nicole bahari she's very small five foot one is not big at all <laughs> but she's from sleepy hollow she did a great job on that show it's really cool shame american violet the express the express was really cool my last day without you let's take a look at some images oh this one's pretty cool it looks like either there's some like weird glary light in her eyes or something but it makes it look like she's storming out she's summoning um the elements man i just can't wait to see storm on the big screen it's gonna be so much fun I would love to see there be like a battle between her and Thor. That would be freaking sick. Oh my gosh, how awesome would that be? Yeah, Black Panther would be like legit no match for Storm. But I think she's a great choice. So um, Nicole Bahari, fun, fun choice. I think she's one of my top choices, even though she's five foot one. It's not very big, not very imposing. She does have a very strong on-screen presence. That's something that's difficult to have when you're as small as she is, but she does in fact have that. I think she looks the part. I think she's got the right face shape. I think she would do really, really well in that role. So you guys let me know if you think that Nicole, Bah. let me know if you guys think that Nicole Bahari would be a good storm in the MCU. All right, Tayona Paris, 31 years old, five foot five. She's from Chirac. She's from, that's a, such a funny name, Chirac. Um, she's from If Beale Street Could Talk. She's from Survivor's Remorse, Dear White People, and Mad Men. Five foot five is not that tall, but it's definitely taller than our last pick. 31 years old is not very old at all. And I think that's a really good age. She looks mature, but still youthful. She's got years before she's going to look like an older member of the X-Men. Her hair, just look at her hair, it's crazy, dude. Her hair is so crazy, it makes me curious if it's real, you know what I mean? That's a lot of hair. But that would make for an absolutely epic storm. You know, like comic book characters, a lot of it is like, is minor details that are subtly more exaggerated than real life comic book girl hair is ridiculous but this hair is ridiculous 
and I think that would be really cool to see on screen is to just let her hair be like that just white that'd be so much fun oh my gosh I've got an art piece I wanted to show you guys at the end so we can take a look and see who would be right for the role all right let's look at the next actress Yvonne Orji she's 35 years old no height is listed she's from insecure night school and spontaneous this chick looks like she has a very big personality this picture in particular looks like she's just got a loud personality i don't know if that would be congruent with storm's character storm was traditionally very sage and wise the times when she would get loud is when she's calling out to the elements yvonne orgy is definitely not one of my top picks but she is on the list she made the list because i think she has a very strong presence you can look at any picture of her and say this looks like a strong woman physically strong look look at her shoulder looks like she does crossfit i think that would be something that she would have over maybe the rest of the picks that i had so let me know if you like yvonne or g better than the other choices on my list all right next up we have carrie washington 42 years old and five foot four middle to short height um, a little bit on the older side, but she doesn't look very old. You guys know her from Scandal. You know her from Django Unchained. You guys know her from The Little Man, Save the Last Dance, and I think I love my wife. She is a very, very talented actress. And again, she's one that naturally has very big, beautiful hair that would lend itself very nicely to the role of Storm. Again, I go back to the hair a lot for Storm. But honestly, I think that that's going to be one of the biggest traits you're going to want in a character. Again, that's not necessarily something the actress has to bring to the table. But if you can, and it is something that is naturally that fantastic. Like, this is ridiculous hair. This is, it's crazy, beautiful, and comic book. It's like, it's that kind of extreme. And I think that's something that would be really awesome for Storm. So, let me know if you guys like Kerry Washington in the role of storm next up we have gabrielle union that's gabrielle union 46 years old five foot seven a little bit on the taller side and definitely one of the oldest on the list however you guys know her from america's got talent breaking in being mary jane bad boys 2 and cradle to the grave but maybe you guys have did you guys like her in these for this one it looks like over the years she has lost weight so in these in these images where she looks a lot younger she was a little bit a little bit curvier but in these images it looks like she's starting to thin out and then by the time you get here she's way thinned out like a lot and so is her hair great actress bit older but I think she would still do a good job and plus storm is supposed to be one of the more mature members of the x-men so even if you wanted to start her out younger and have a much younger team of x-men you could still start with someone like gabrielle union i think that that would work just fine let's get on to the next actress on the list we have megan good now megan good is hilarious she's a great actress she's from the intruder think like a man friday um shazam which i'm gonna circle back to and waist deep my wife and kids is a tv show she was on cousin skeeter star minority report deception you guys have seen her in a lot of things but megan good in shazam was hilarious she was awesome she did such a good job playing the role that she was in. If you haven't seen Shazam, I'm not gonna spoil it, but you will like it when you see her, I guarantee it. I wanted to sh not get too much into that because it's a different video, but let's talk about Megan Good as far as appearance for Storm. Now, not a ton of fan casting images for her, but I did find this one, which I thought was good. Her face shape, I think matches some of the comic book art for Storm very very well she does have a little bit more of a Halle Berry type of look um, not necessarily the eyes but the face and I think that that would be pretty cool I didn't particularly enjoy Halle Berry's storm I like seeing storm on screen but Halle Berry's storm was not written well and I hope that you know Marvel obviously I have total trust in Kevin Feige I think that Kevin Feige is going to allow Storm to be the Storm that we know from the comics, not just the Storm we got in X1, X2, X3. So with Megan Good, I think that you probably can't go wrong with her. I think she would be an awesome Storm, and it would be great to have her play the role. And I wore my Shazam shirt because she was going to be one of my picks, and also it is lightning, and it is lightning, 
and it's all lightning. All right, so that concludes the entire list of actresses that I had selected for Storm in the MCU. If you guys stuck around to the end, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I'm going to show you guys some art that I did for the fan casting summit number four, which was X-Men in the MCU part two. All right, guys, so on the left, I wanted to show you guys Nicole Bahari, who's 34 years old and five foot one. You guys know her probably most from Sleepy Hollow. That's where I knew her from, but she is a very talented actress. I think she looks great in the role. I put her in the white costume, which is traditional to the 90s, and then also the two red X communicator badges on her lapel. And then I put her hair on there, white, going crazy in the wind. Um, not the best edit I've ever done, but you know, I just wanted to give you guys something to look at here for the art. And you can see this in the fan casting summit number four, which is MCU X-Men part two. Also on the right, we have Tayona Paris, who is 31 years old, five foot five. She's in Chirac, Survivor's Remorse, Mad Men, and Dear White People. She's really, really talented. I like this actress a lot. And I just changed her hair color in this image and changed her wardrobe, put a tornado around her, and had lightning striking in the background. Not, I didn't go too crazy. I just added a few effects to give you guys just a quick glimpse at what she might look like if put into the MCU. Let me know what you guys think about these art pieces. And again, I wanna know from you guys, which of the actresses on my list did you like the most for the role of Storm? Also, was there anyone that I missed that you like for the role of Storm? Please let me know down in the comments below so we can have that conversation. I wanna know who your favorite actress is to play Storm in the MCU. So, with that down and out of the way, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please turn on notifications so that you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.